What's going on, everyone? I uh, hope you can see and hear me okay. Um, thought I'd jump on today because I have a lot of So Rare teams that I need to uh, figure out. Um, let me make sure that my audio is mixed nicely. Let me turn the music down a touch. I'm going to turn it down in my studio as well, actually. I don't even need to hear the music too much. Just have it so I can hear what's playing. Um... So yeah, welcome everyone. Um, I'll probably post this to YouTube after as well. It can be quite useful, but just going to kind of show you how I get about uh, doing my teams, doing my lineups for So Rare, some of the websites I use, some of the obvious ones I think a lot of people use, um, which you'll be familiar with, maybe like Play Sharper, um, football, uh, fantasy. football Fantasy is one that is really good for Spanish particularly so I'm gonna get into that a little bit and uh, yeah just show you a little bit of what what uh, what I'm up to in terms of so rare I'm just gonna log myself into all of the accounts that I need to log myself into um, on get my Twitter live all of that kind of stuff um, get my lists live where's my list so rare info feed all right so I'm gonna share my screen uh, so you can kind of see what what I'm what I'm working with. But uh, welcome everyone. What's going on, gutters? What's going on, Benny? Ian, so rare. All the gang in the in the chat already, which is nice to see some early early risers and all that. Um, yeah, I am going to jump straight over into uh, a lovely looking scene. Um, if you are watching, you can use your Prime sub. If you are linking your uh, Amazon Prime account to your Twitch. But, uh, let's jump into uh, the next window, which is going to be our lineup builder, and let's just crack straight on with it, shall we? Look at that. The Stish uh, Limited is uh, is not available on the market, uh, but it would definitely be a tier zero, um, straight up, 100%. So here we are, the lineup builder. The first thing I'm going to do is try and figure out where my strongest lineup is going to go. Um, this week, I, if I can, at the moment I'm really into trying to get the threshold, particularly in super rare. As you can see, I've got quite a lot of goalkeepers available this weekend, including I think three uh, should that should start um, in the super rare goalkeepers. Um, so I think let, what I do normally is I'll go into All Star Rare Plus and suggest a lineup and have a little look at where the kind of weight might be. Um, so it likes Etienne Green as far as like my goalkeepers are concerned. This is what it thinks is the strongest lineup. A rating of 88, um, as so rare data shows, is a strong lineup, um, and that is a strong lineup. Now, if if I look at it, one thing I do notice is obviously Mbappe is always a strong pick any in any lineup, right? I've also got Grimaldo there, so I've got two players who I can use in Champ Euro. Um, both rare cards um, and then I've got Felipe who plays in the Chinese Super League he's always a really strong forward option um, but might be more useful if I've got a really strong super rare option there Etienne Green at home 48% uh, win chance um, he is going to start even though the predictions don't show him as 100% uh, Larson is out injured and Etienne Green started the last game played really well kept a clean sheet so, um, yeah, so over here we can have a look at the pick scores. This is so rare data if you've never used it before. I recommend it. It's uh, really useful. Um, so, yeah, I've got some really good, like a lot of good goalkeeper fixtures this weekend. As you can see, a lot of A's there. A's and, a and anything above A, double A's for goalkeepers. Um, clean sheet percentage chance based on, you know, form. Uh, this is the betting odds usually win percentage what the what the kind of bookies have got them to do so when I'm picking a goalkeeper I normally try usually I go off win percentage first and then clean sheet so if I go off clean sheet uh, Mirko Kozu is not going to start or very unlikely to um, Matt Ryan has and and Donnarumma combined have my highest chance of a clean sheet but because they're tired then you might have a little look at opposition score and that is, you know, the average opponent score against 
this team when they play. So this is anyone who plays against AZ and this is anyone who plays against PSG. Um, you might edge, I might edge Donnarumma here because PSG have a 77% win chance. They are at home um, and also he has that 11.5% score bonus at the moment so if i'm really looking to my most i mean at the moment he's got etienne green there because he's got that 30 percent bonus with the super rare but i would lean more towards using i don't really like using super rare goalkeepers in rare plus i'd rather save them for uh super rare divisions i don't know if anyone else in the chat um has anything um frenzy saying captain mbappe i i would lean towards that as well um if you're going to use Mbappe in a lineup, um, yeah, I'd normally captain him. Although Szymanski is in hot form at the moment and has a very, very good uh, current run of uh, scoring a decisives. A decisive on so rare is a goal or an assist. Um, you get negative ones as well for giving away penalties or conceding three goals if you're a goalkeeper. Um, yeah, like goal line clearances are also decisives. Last man tackles. Szymanski's not likely to get a goal line clearance or a last man tackle because of where he plays on the pitch. He's a midfielder. He's more of an attacking uh, player. But uh, yeah, I think I will use Szymanski in a very strong lineup. I do usually have a good option in Challenger. But there you go, like 88%. Um, for me, Etienne Green is not going to be used in this lineup. So what you can do is you can discard him and it will pick the next best lineup. Um, and for me, this looks a little bit more like what I would be putting into um, a rare plus. One of the other little bonuses that people don't really, you don't really get from so red data, is knowing about the players. And in this case, I've got Felipe and Kim Minwoo who both play for the same team as well. So if the result does go in their favour, there's a higher chance that both of these will score well because Kim Minwoo is like a attacking midfielder can normally plays on the left side of midfield for um for the team oh, I forgot the name of their team now uh Chengdu for Chengdu and Felipe is 90% of the time they score it normally comes either from him or he'll get an assist or but when they score you know if they're winning 3-0 or something like that chances are Felipe's got an assist or a goal um, and minwoo has got a really good all-around score um, and then if he can get in amongst the decisive with an assist or goal, he can be close to 100 points quite often if you have a little look at his scoring. Um, let me just go to preferences and show last 15 games. So you can see his scores are really good. Um, this is with his bonus applied. I, I like to add power adjusted. Let's add power adjusted so you can see. Power adjusted is like, it kind of like brings into factors in like this sort of percentage of bonus like 28% for Minwoo um, so you can see he's putting up some good scores there they've got an 80% win chance a 60% chance of three goals scored so a really good fixture for Chengdu and um, yeah if I can I'll put both of them in the same team so that might be an all-star super rare it might probably won't be a cap mode because of how high their last 15 scores are but um yeah, Bayezit is a challenger goalkeeper. He's got a good home fixture this weekend. So, yeah, this is how I normally start. I'll have a look at what Rare Plus kind of throws at me. Um, so now I'm going to have a little look at what All-Star Super Rare throws at me and see how potentially strong that lineup is, whether or not I feel like I can finish in the cash prize places. Um, let's have a look. So yeah, All Star Super Air, that is, you know, 78 in that kind of, you know, Super Air division is really strong. Um, is this the last fixture in the Chinese Super League? I think if it's not this one, it's close. I think we've got maybe a maximum of two or three. Let's have a little look. Um, Chengdu fixtures. I've got my laptop here as well. I've got like two screens going on. Um, let's have a look. Chinese Super League. Hmm, Stranger's not just coming up quick, but let's have a look at live scores. I'm pretty sure this is one of the last, like you say. I'm just going to check their fixtures. Um, 
yeah, this is it. The last fixture. So hoping for a big one. Uh, the CSL resumes. Yeah, there are a lot. Um, let's have a look at when it started this season. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it usually starts... I think we've got, like, probably until, like, March, April of next year before we see fixtures again. But, um, yeah, good thing about having Chinese cards is not many people have them. We don't mint from China, so there's no new cards coming out from the Chinese Super League. Only players that move to it, um, really. Uh, Kim, Kim Min Wu has been a great acquisition for me. I've also got um, Romulo, he's number one. Um, Romulo is an amazing player in that same team who gets in amongst a lot of decisive actions. Um, but he's been injured and he'll probably be back, I would imagine, in time for maybe maybe a couple of games into next season. I think it's an ACL, so chances are he's got another six months out. Um, and I think, yeah, it might even be like April, May by the time we're seeing fixtures coming through again for the Chinese Super League. Um, but Chengdu's a decent little stack. You, they've got a defender available, Winbichler. Uh, his scores are okay, but but yeah, if you can get hold of a Felipe and a King Ming, Minwu, they've been a pretty good acquisition for me in terms of their output. Um, some thoughts on this lineup and whether or not I would put this through. Uh, Joey Veerman is one of the best cards I own. Um, so he, he's always going to go into one of my key lineups. So whether or not I go in here with him, um, the only other one I would look at really is I want to have a little cap 240 super rare because that at the moment is one of my main, that's one of the main plays that I want to try and win that $250. Um, and, you know, there's a, there's a decent lineup there. Um, Acevedo's got home lineup. Uh, he's not he's not kept any clean sheets since coming back from injury but they got home fixture Frimpong there I've got quite a few options in U23 but he's definitely one of the better ones if I look at what I've got um, Felix Strauss there um, Antiste is a little bit hot and cold I, I don't really like using him in, um, in in any key lineups but he's good for cap mode with a cost of 35 He's got home fixture, um, you know, in a game where he's got a 26% chance of three goals scored, 55% win chance, uh, an opposition score of, uh, you know, 57. As you can see here, it says like right attacking midfielder 63, and he does play on the right side. So it is a good fixture for him with a low cost, and it, that does allow me to put Felipe into there. Um... But I just wonder, like, is is Felipe overpowered in cap 240 in a division where I only really need that 280 points? I could probably swap Felipe out for someone else who might be able to get me there just with all around. And then I can put Felipe in as, like, my key forward card this weekend. I think it's probably him. His Super Air and Mbappe are the two potential big hitters, I think, that I've got in, as far as forwards are concerned. Um, Jesus Ferreira, Chukov in there. Um, Ferreira I don't fancy as much because he's not in great form at the moment as much as his scores look pretty decent he's not in top form and he didn't score particularly well last week against Seattle so I don't fancy him for a key lineup this week I'd probably more likely put him in oh, I don't know he might be good in U23 depending on what my options are there um, and then obviously there's a lot here of players that I expect to be benched. And I mean, Palacios is potential to, again, he's a Chengdu player as well. 80% um, win rate, as we've mentioned. He might even just come off the bench as he has done. He's come off bench in the last three games and scored or assisted. Um, so he's got to be knocking the door for a start, really, hasn't he? Based on the last three games, he could even start that game. Um, so maybe I'll use him in like cap 220 as like a bit of a wild card, but... You know, I like to try and play in my strong lineups players I expect to start, as I'm sure most of us do, right? <clears throat> Morning, Alex Wilson. Sochi are terrible. Uh, I, I would agree with that. I'm looking at Chukovin as uh, one of my key options, especially in U23 this weekend. I think he's a better option than Ferreira. 
uh, this weekend. I would agree with that. Um, I fancy him. Um, that substitute appearance a couple of games back was just um, coming back from international break. So he will start. Uh, and yeah, I, I think Sochi are in really bad form. Um, and scored in a cup game this midweek. That's always nice to know he's rolling into a fixture. Didn't actually check the, the Russian Cup. So that's good. Thanks for, thanks for letting me know on that. Uh, so yeah, I think I would rather save Felipe for a non-cap mode. Um, and then maybe look at... I think another really good option I've got in midfield at the moment is a, is a player who recently moved. If we look on L5... Torgan Hazard with a, a cost of 42 if you look at his last three games I mean we should probably take uh, power adjusted off when we're using it cap modes looking at cap because they don't get that extra bonus for their util for their like super rare but nonetheless there you go Torgan Hazard is outscoring that 42 he's got a opposition score of 48 which is above his cap that always helps when you're picking teams for cap modes um I think putting him in there is a bet. He's a better pick for me than uh, Kenneth Taylor, and you know he is. I've got a lot of challenger options. Kenneth Taylor being one of them, but Kelly, Kenneth Taylor could be a better option for U23 Super Rare, knowing that I've got a good, strong uh, goalkeeper option this week. I should definitely be looking at that as a potential entry, especially with Chukovin as well, who we've already mentioned. Frimpong there with a good fixture. Um, I think, let's have a look at opposition scores. Seo Yong Wu is a good option because I haven't got a lot of Asia cards this week. He might be um, a good option to stick in to a cat mode here, um, especially with quite a lot of space headroom to play with. If I put him in there, because there's no Asia this week, I'm only, I've only really got to use him in all-star modes or cat modes. He is a good scorer. He's got a good fixture in the Asian Champions League. He should start. Um, I watched them in the last leg. Um, and again, with it being Asian Champions League, you don't have that worry of like, oh, the Korean cards that have that delayed scoring. You're not going to be stressing out. The scores come up as it, as they go in play in the Champions League. So, yeah, a little bit less worried about him. Um, Circle Bruges are good at home. Um, but I'd still think that Hazard's better than a 42, even against a good side. Um, I expect goals in that game. Both teams capable of scoring. You know, if you were a betting man, you'd, you'd have a nice, a good chance of both teams to score in that game, I think, the way they play. I think they're both going to be playing pretty end-to-end. -end. Both going to be playing for a win there, I think. Um, and I think, you know, his all-around score is actually pretty decent as well. Uh, Kenneth Taylor playing in a struggling Ajax side who are playing against Herenveen, who I watched last week and... Heron Veen are hot and cold at the moment. That could be an interesting matchup um, based on our Ajax's current form. They did get a good result uh, yesterday, but I think I think that that you know like that fifty nine is based off a lot of factors that Ajax are not the team that they used to be at the moment. So I feel a little bit more if I'm really like trying to hit this cap. I think Torgan Hazard there, Seol Young Wu is definitely. Uh, decisive capable in that game uh, they ran out last last week against the same team of 10 men and still um, finished pretty comfortably in that game um, even playing with 10 they they were still on the front foot so uh, so I've got 65 points to complete this lineup let's have a little look at the top end of my costs Boschnivics might be a shout there against Ajax um, but I don't fancy him at as high a price point as 64. If I really wanted to ensure that I got that cap in, you could slot Veerman in there and comfortably expect him to score, you know, at least 60 points in that game. For me, cap mode's all about two decisives. If I can get a clean sheet from a goalkeeper and a goal or an assist somewhere, the rest of the players can get by with decent AA and then you'll hit that cap usually. So... Yeah, I, I don't want to use Kim Min Woo because I think I've got to use him and Felipe in the same lineup. Florentine is a definite um, potential use here, but his 63 price point, he's not really hitting those numbers at the moment, but, you know, a decisive will get him there. Roberto, um, he came off injured again in the last game. 81 minutes. 
Um, I'm going to have a little look at this website here, as I mentioned earlier. This is footballfantasy.com. It is a little bit like Play Sharper and So Red Data, except there's a little bit more focus specifically on the La Liga. So I was having a little look at this fixture earlier today because um, I've got a couple of Las Palmas players who are unlikely to start and that is the same on Play Sharper if we look at the same fixture. Um, I've got a Malero and I've got a Raujo who play for Las Palmas and neither of these sites fancy them to start. If I look at Sports Gambler, that's another one you can look at. The Liga lineups, uh, Las Palmas predicted lineups. I mean, they don't have them starting either. So there's three websites there that all tell me that my players are not likely to start. Um, so yeah, I'm probably not going to be going with Araujo or Malero. Or I do think Malero might start. I think he has an outside chance of starting, but probably not going to risk him in any big lineups based on the information I've got. Hello, Brezza. What's going on, mate? Liking the overlay. Love to hear it. Um, so I'm going to have a little look on this website at... Um, where are we? I need to find... We're at Almeria. Let's have a little look at the predicted lineup. Roberto, let's see what the latest is on him. Uh, foot brews available for match day 12. So uh, they're playing Alaves away. It says he's available. A foot brews. Um, let's have a little look at the news there. Uh, infirmary. So this web website keeps up to date with any kind of like news as and when it comes in. So it is a little bit more up to date. Um, Roberto is being given a 70% chance there. Let's have a look, look on Play Sharper to see where they've got him. These websites are really good for helping you pick teams. You can see already, right, we've been live for a little while now and I've still not started really picking teams. But once you get going, the rest start to fall into place. It's just picking... I think this is the longest bit for me, is picking where's my best team going in this weekend. Where am I um, really going to be trying to get the top score? Roberto is in there, 60%. Um, any chat in? He didn't train yesterday, but likely that he will today. That was on Thursday, so Wednesday. Um, so was he training... Let's have a look. I've got this so rare um, info feed as well that I keep an eye on. Um, so I can little little search Ro oh, Roberto. Let's have a little look and see what comes up. Roberto and Almeria. Give that a little search on Twitter. Go by latest. Um, and then translate it. you people are you know looking at him as a potential option for fantasy yeah people are expecting Roberto to start because I don't really play champ that hard I'm thinking that Roberto might not be a bad pick here it's a half decent fixture you know, his AA gets him, he scores pretty well, as you can see, most games. His AA score will get him there. Uh, he, he, he consistently scores above 67 quite often. So, a, a pick score of 60, got 65 to play with, think he's a good option there. Um, yeah, that isn't a bad option. Giannetti is always a good, op good pick here. 40% clean sheet chance. Let's have a look, little look on odds and see who fits in there. Matt O'Reilly's definitely not going in a cap mode. What do you guys reckon? What are you seeing? Chris Furick has a really nice fixture there. Look, 57 expected. Um, he's got a score that leaves us a little bit of wiggle room still. 58% win chance. 39% chance of three goals scored and he is definitely capable of a decisive or two pretty sure he's on free kicks and pens as well at the moment so 
He is probably a good shout, actually. I like that shout with the win percentage there. In fact, knowing that I don't really play champ pro, I think he is a great shout here. And it does give me potential space to maybe upgrade the hazard pick and then use him in challenger potentially. Um, so I've got, if I take him out, I've got 51 to play with there as a midfielder. Let's have a look there. What's in, what's in that below 51? That is still, it's still showing me forwards. Let me just click off and on again. So 51. Juan Luis Sanchez. He's a good card. Just hard to pick when he's going to start. I think he maybe starts this week because it's Champions League coming up. Paul Cuckoo. I still think that Hazard might be like the best pick within that kind of range, so I'm going to leave it. And I think, actually, who would you captain here? I think you just go with whoever you think is going to score the highest, right? Uh, Lighten one is saying Rupertone probably doesn't play. Uh, Lighten, enlighten me. Everything that I'm looking at is telling me that he should be playing. Um, unless you know something about training, I think that's the only bit of information that I'm missing at the moment. Is did he train? Um, did he train today or yesterday? Be good to know. If he's not training, then you're probably correct. Um, but it'll be interesting to know that because I could use him in, in some of my other teams. But I don't mind um, avoiding him. I've definitely got a lot of options in the Super Air department at the minute. So if he's not going to play, if you think he's not going to play, let me know why. Lighten. Definitely like to know why. Um, but yeah, who do you captain in this situation? I think a 58% win chance. He's on some of the set pieces, potential penalties. Uh, Seo Yong Wu has a really good fixture, although we don't have the game odds. I saw the game last week. This is the second leg. The only worry I've got with him is potential rotation because they are 3-1 up. Um, but I think given he is a Korean national as well, um, you know, he's going to be... He's definitely in their strongest eleven. Let's have a little look at where Play Sharper have him. Just because, you know, the only worry there with him is the um, the rotation. Because they, they are quite safe in the fixture. But I do fancy him to start still. They've got him at 80%. I think mean, that's pretty fair. Um, yeah, no odds on the... Kim Taehwan is suspended... That puts him even stronger um, in there for me because they often rotate each other. So, yeah, I'm going to keep him in. I think he might even be a captain pick here. Eight and a half percent bonus. We add the captain pick to that. Do we add it? I think it's between him and Furyk. If we look at their recent scores, I just want to see what Furyk's AA output is like. Oh, we Furyk 56. Let's have a look at what his AA is saying. 13 and a half AA. 16 on a bad game. Yeah. Um, I I like this fixture for him a lot. I think I'm going to captain him. Uh, there you go, 74. That is good, especially for cap mode. So I'm going to lock that in because I like the look of that. And it doesn't it doesn't take out too many of the cards that will give me strong options in other lineups, which is something that I think is definitely important. So yeah, I think that is a cap mode that can hit the cap. It doesn't really weaken any of my potential other strong lineups. So that's that. I think next step, because we've looked at Etienne Green being a potential, I don't really want to consider him for anything but U23 Super Air now. Um, so let's have a little look at how strong we can go in this. Pick scores. Frimpong or Kosanu. 
I think Frimpong is more decisive, capable. Um, and he'll definitely start this weekend because they all have a midweek fixture, which they don't tend to use him in. So he wasn't used in uh, the cup game in the week. He's definitely going to start. Uh, I expect both of them to start. Uh, potential there to stack. I've got um, a unique here that will play, but even let's put actually let's put the power adjusted back on. Then we can see, you know, if, if we're getting any bang for our uniques, as you can see, we are not getting any bang. Um, did get a player back in from injury. Uh, Jan Paul Van Eck will probably start against Everton. That's good to see. Um, but again, I don't like to risk him in a big lineup. He's probably more likely to go in like one of those cap 220s or something like that. Lonwick came on at half time and had a great game for Grasshoppers last week. Um, I probably won't use him in a lineup this week. I'll wait and see if he starts this week for them, which I think he will. I know like people don't expect him to. The community doesn't, but I would definitely put my my hat on him starting this week. So I'm going to get in there and add my prediction. I think he'll start, but I won't use him. I'll wait and see if he does. Um, anyone else out there a bit like that? Don't if you've got options, you don't really want to start those players, do you? Um, watch the last Stuttgart game and Furyk is amazing. Yeah, he's definitely having a good season. Um, I agree, Yippie on the Kosanu as well, that he's more AA reliant. Um, oh, Lunik is saying it's a group game for all sands, so the other game doesn't matter. Okay, that's good to know. I thought we were in the knockout stages there. So um, that is that is good to know. Even more likely to start then. That makes me feel really good about that, that selection. Um, defensive options. Would love a bit of Lee Ham bomb activity. I don't expect... We'll see much of him at Michelin this season, though. I think um, maybe uh, later in the season or if they get an injury. But I think for now, he is going to be kind of rotated in. Um, we, he might get some minutes this week. Now he's back in. He's been back in training since the Asia Games. Be interesting to see how he's used. Can't wait to get some ac uh, action from him again. Um, but I definitely think that Frimpong is, is clearly the big option here. Um... He does kind of play as a midfielder. Um, so if they can keep a clean sheet, you kind of get a free defensive bonus there. But with the option of a potential decisive, which he is capable of, I think he goes in if we're really trying to pick our strongest lineup. Let's have a look here. Matt O'Reilly is always the clear favourite for U23 Super Rare. If, I think that what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the Super Rare lineup, see how potentially strong it is. And then, if it doesn't look really strong, I go and look at how strong we can go in U23 Rare Pro. And then it's a decision on, do I use O'Reilly and maybe Frimpong in a, in like the Rare Plus, as they call it now, instead. Um, but I think because we got such a good U23 goalkeeper option this week, it makes sense to me to consider a strong lineup here. Um, as we were saying earlier, I think Chukovin is the stronger of the two options as much as um, so Red Data fancies Ferreira I think Chukovin is more likely to score um, his fixture you know it's strange actually to me that he is rate, this fixture is rated an A versus like a Ferreira triple A because Ferreira you know minus 4.3 against the same opposition last week I know he does have the home fixture this week but he's not been in red hot form um, you know, a lot of fans of Dallas are moaning about his recent um, his recent uh, output for them. But Chukovin um, in the chat mentioning he's scoring it in the week as well in the cup, which is great. Sochi are in pretty bad form at the moment and they're missing some of their key players as well. I know Nabo is out. So I think Chukovin is the pick here. Or Kuhn maybe... Uh, Nicholas Coyne or Kuhn or however you pronounce that plays our attack um, good good fixture for him but I do fancy Chugovin this weekend I think I like that pick um, and then I guess the next pick for me would be do we double up on Leverkusen and get Kosanu in there or do we maybe aim for another decisive I think decisives are key in this division um, I'm going to assume that means 
that Dylan Levitt doesn't have a fixture this weekend. Because he should be in here somewhere. Or actually, no, he's not aged out, is he? He's still a U23. Um, yeah, chat, what do you reckon? Who do you put in here? Do you put Ferreira in? Do you put Kosanu in? Do you go Kenneth Taylor and hope for a little decisive there? Um, he's not been amongst the goals too much, but he can put up a decent AA, as you can see. Um, he's likely to start for Ajax. He's a, you know, he's a pretty solid starter pick for them. Uh, Eric Martel had an absolute shocker last time out. Conceded a pen. Uh, got whacked. They got whacked, didn't they, last week? Um, but yeah, I think it's between Kosanu, Nicholas here, uh, Taylor, um, or Ferreira. What do you guys think? Hard for Lady Fakusen to keep a clean sheet. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking... Yeah, Hibs do have a cup game. Okay, so not a covered game. Um, but it'd be good to see if Levitt does start there again because he had a pretty good game in midweek for them um, and he's been struggling for starting places, hasn't he? So hopefully he can get back in amongst that starting eleven. But yeah, I think if I'm going strong here, I think I'd probably... I'd probably side with Taylor. They managed to scrape a result yesterday. Um, maybe they go again with a similar lineup. Uh, and then obviously I'm going to captain O'Reilly. 73 is a decent rating for a, a, a super rare team. But what I'm going to do instead of saving that, I'm going to take a mental note of it. And then I'm going to have a little look at what my strongest U23 rare pro, pro or rare plus, getting used to that lineup would be and then work out do we go strong in rare plus or do we hit u23 super rare strongest so yeah obviously it, it's to see do we use o'reilly here 86 rated um i think if we were going to go strong again we go here and probably switch out for i mean raspadori has a great fixture there doesn't he to save use of a super rare and then maybe even look at because we could actually put a really strong lineup in rare and still use. So in this instance, my my thinking right now is, do we go really strong in U23 rare and super rare and then rare plus be a bit like the maybe, the maybe shot and stick a cut? Because we've got super rare options still. I'm thinking we go rare and see how strong we can go there. Suggest one, 83. And yeah, look, Raspadori in there, Pavlovic, Gvardiol. Is Gvardiol definitely gonna start is my only issue. I think City are a little bit hard to predict at the moment. Um, let's have a look what play sharp we've got him on. 80% Gvardiol. I, know, I don't know about anyone else who holds Gvardiol, but another thing, another little issue I have with him is when he plays as a centre-back as part of a back three, he scores better, or he looks like he scores better, than when they play him as a left-back. Um, he loses more, more duels on that side of the pitch than he does in the middle, because a lot of his duels are won in the air. Uh, I'm going to have a little look at his last score, actually, because he did play there. In his last game, and he put up. I mean, United were woeful. Um, he was playing against um, a 27 AA with a clean sheet. You know, 10 of that's the clean sheet, isn't it? So let's have a look at his duels. He lost four duels and only won one playing as a left back against a shit Man United team. As a United fan, I can say we were awful at getting that the game. So to see that he lost four duels in a game where he didn't really have much to do. Don't really want him in the games he's going to play as a left back. Um, so if they are going to line things up like this, who's he playing against? Semenyo. If I have a little look at Semenyo. I did actually have his super rare until recently. I sold it. Let's have a look at his scoring. And just see what you know, against uh, Burnley. Let's try and see if we can find him against 
a decent lineup. Okay, against Tottenham. Let's see how his scoring went there. And Semenyo, 29.5. 29.5 possession he lost 12 duels against Udoji no tackles one um, he got an assist his all around was not great I don't fence I don't think on what we've seen here, I don't think Vardio is the strong pick that Sarah Data has him at. Um, so we'll suggest that lineup again. We definitely won't captain Vardio. Let's take Pavlovic out, put him there. Make sure I've got my strongest. So I've got two Pavlovic's, one on eight and a half. So if we're going strong, we put him in there. Um, so extra, I've got the option here of, you know, Musiala. But he's got a tough fixture against Dortmund. Uh, Mats Wiefer has a great fixture. Um, he is capable of some decent AA. But he's also, yeah, he's a bit hot and cold, isn't he? Um, an away fixture. Is he one of those home players? Raspadori, Lekeba. Playing against Mainz. 39. Let's have a look at the odds. Um, Luka Sukic he played well last week great AA I mean, if, he, if you add a decisive on top of that you're laughing aren't you and then we've already got another Salzburg player in maybe we put Sukic in there what does uh, Play Sharper reckon they didn't have him down to start last weekend and I did so it paid off for me let's see if they've got him in this week They still don't fancy him to start. Hmm. Oh, they do. There he is. I'm, I'm looking up here for him. Um, eight and ninety percent chance of starting. That feels right. I'm surprised actually that Gorna Duff is only at forty percent. Is he just coming back off of? Because he he missed the last game. He was substitute. Um, what's their next fixture? They're not going to be resting anyone, are they, this weekend? They've got Champions League in the week, haven't they? But Sukic is a good pick here for me. Um, the Caber's pro probably a good pick too. I like Sukic. I think we could probably put this line up there. I probably captain. Maybe Verts. He's in good form at the moment. Or Sukic, maybe. What do you guys reckon? Do I think Doku or Grealish start? That is a good question. Um, Ian so rare saying O'Reilly will likely get 60 to 70 minutes with Europe coming up midweek. I'd agree with that, but I don't think he needs many. You know, he can get a dis he he can score 60, 70 in that time easily. Um, Do I think Doku or Grealish start? That is a great question. I think... I think Doku might start this weekend. I think Doku, probably. I'd edge I'd edge it with Doku. Who do they have him down as starting? Uh, let's have a look. I would edge Doku in that one. Just because Champions League in the week, I think Grealish probably starts... Doku came on as a sub, didn't he, against United? I fancy Doku for this game. I would put him ahead of Grealish, maybe. I, I think Foden definitely starts, so I'd agree with that. Yeah, I would put Doku ahead of Grealish for this game, and then Grealish in midweek. Um... Uh, yeah, I, I like this lineup. I think this is a strong lineup. It's rated at 72. I think it's probably it's better than that for me personally. 
Do we captain Sukic? Big win percentage. I mean, Pavlovic on AA alone could be a 70 plus, couldn't he? Let's have a look. Do you captain Pavlovic on the AA? Or do you go do you go for Verts? Raspadori is probably, you know, he's decisive reliant. I wouldn't captain him with that fixture. Um in fact, let me have a little look at that him, him as a pick. Do we really have... Is he really our best option as a forward this weekend? I think Perot is normally... Mm, Leicester away. Not as strong a pick as usual for him. Calimwendo against Nice. Anthony is not really in contention for me this weekend. He will probably start, but I'm not expecting him to... Um, Start one second. Hold on a minute. Cool. Um, Turkey. He's just a risk, isn't he, at the moment? I think. Oh, Noosa might be a shout. Mm, bad fixture. Sesco. What does that guy need to do to get a start? Like, love to be able to use him. I've, you know, he, he comes in off the bench, scores goals. Um, but he's, he might, maybe he starts this week. Maybe he starts this week. Maybe this is the game where he starts. Who have they got in the week? Let's have a look. Mm, maybe they start him in that game, actually. Give him a run out in the Champs League. Hmm. I'm not going to risk him. Not going to risk him this week either way. Uh, I do think Raspadori probably is the key pick here, isn't he? As far as forwards are concerned. So, who do we captain is the big if. Um, my my heart tells me Verts. My head tells me Pavlovich, just for safety. Let's go with Pavlovich. 75, lock that one in. And then I think that we lock in the super rare based on that. And then we have a little look at what's left for U23 rare pro. Let's do, let's just do this and change what it changes. Frimpong, O'Reilly, Chukovin. The only one we're changing is here. And that was, I can't even remember who it was now. Who was it? Oh, Yusuf. I forget we got him as an option. Who was our fifth player in this lineup? Was it uh, Kosanu? Was it Kosanu? Or Ta Oh, it was Taylor, wasn't it? I like that. What do you guys reckon? Does that look strong? I'm going to go with that. Let's lock that in. Let's lock it in. Okay, so U23, cap 240 is tied up. Uh, let's have a little look at our U23 Pro or Plus and to see what they would put in for that. See, based on fixtures, I don't think that's as strong as they think it is. So I'm going to, I'm going to actually have a look at challenger first before we start putting super rares anywhere let's have a look a look at challenger pro challenger plus as i should start calling it um boshnevix against ajax isn't a fantastic um fixture but the rest of them look great don't they look vehement massive fixture for him easy uh gruber Big fixture for him. Big fixture for Szymanski. Um, That is probably not as strong as they've rated it. Let's have a little look at the options there. Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan might be a better option here, but I'm trying to sell him. So I don't want to like put him in a lineup and then find out he's gone. But clean sheet. Matt Ryan. 
Well, we've got an 11% bonus on so Safanov, who has a decent chance of a clean sheet at home. Let's have a look at his home form. Home form's good. Look at that. I mean, that's a big pick for me. 11% bonus. Good home form. He had a nightmare in the last game, obviously. But I don't expect him to be dropped. He's still their best player. Um, yeah. Safanov. Let's have a little look at Bears, it's home form as well, actually, and just compare. Maybe I'm writing him off. He is a good good scorer. Alania Spore. I don't know a great deal about them, how they're playing at the moment. But the last time they played them at home, 4-0. Hmm. Receiver sport at home. Hmm. Not the highest scorers in the league, are they? But um, let's have a look at Krillia's recent form. One one. Big scorers. But look at Krasnodar's goals conceded. I'm I've got I've got to go with that. Could be a tight game. That's gotta be a tight game. I think Maybe we go with Safanov in here with the percentage bonus. I'm not I'm not sold on Boshnivics against Ajax though. What are my other options there? I could put Florentine in the mid. But then Szymanski's Szymanski's red hot. I can't really take him out of what should be a strong lineup. Um Let's have a look at defence. I'd love to know how far. If anyone knows anything about Omar Colley's defence um, injury, I'd love to know. Uh, Cobble is a decent scorer at the minute. Not a fantastic fixture for him, but. Um, Lonwick if I knew he was going to start if I was sure I do fancy him to start but I'm not sure this is the only thing putting me off I think my defensive options in rare plus I'd be better off going into rare and swapping out Veerman and Boschniviks and using them in something else in maybe in super or all star Veerman in All-Star will be, you know, with Mbappe up top, probably make more sense. So let's have a look at Rare instead, Challenger. Probably use Veerman in All-Star. Let's see what they suggest here. And then I just swap him for Safanov. And that looks very good to me. That, 83. That feels good. Um, Robin Proper is not on peak form right now. In the way fixture. Uh, can we improve him? Let's go on odds. Vanden Boomen. Do I fancy Vanden Boomen at home to Heronveen to score more than Robin Proper away? To Emin. That is Emin, isn't it? Oh, it's Utrecht. 
I always get those two confused. Um. Oh, is Naboa back in? He's not. He's not going to do anything against Dynamo. Not for me. Hormans is another interesting pick. But he has a tough fixture. Matt's Weefer. These are just midfielders. Let's have a look. Pick scores. I think Vanden Boomen on current form might even be a better pick than proper. At home, after a good result. The only problem with Vanden Boomen is he's been in and out of the starting lineup. Let me have a look at what play sharp, I reckon. If you've just joined us, we are doing my lineups. You can see how long this stuff takes, right? Um, so I just wanted to give people an insight into how long it actually does take when you've got so many players. Vanden Boomen, 85%. They reckon Tom High could score 63 against Ajax. Um, wrench. No wrench news. Uh, I like I like Van den Boomen in this lineup, especially at eighty five percent. If that's how they have him lined up, let's have a look and see if they got him in in here. No, they're not lined up yet. Okay, all right, so. Lineup builders. Maybe. I think Proper's obviously going to start. Let's have a little look at what Play Sharp I reckon Proper's potential score would be. Fifty-seven. I think I'm I'm siding with Vanden Boomen because I think uh, I think Ajax might begin to turn things around a little bit now. They've got a good run of fixtures. Here and Vina no pushovers though. I don't expect. That to be a really easy game for them either. Let's. Gang, what do you reckon? Van den Boomen or Proper in what should be the strongest lineup here? I'm I'm gonna go Van den Boomen, you know. Eight percent bonus versus seven. Potential opponent score of sixty-one. I like Van den Boomen in this team. And I'll stick with Szymanski as a captain. I think he's a strong pick, always. But that is strong. I'm going to lock that one in. Um, right, so then that leaves us with... We were looking at All-Star Rare Pro here, weren't we? I think that's probably going to be the next. All-Star Rare Plus. Who's playing Cap 270? Super Cap, as they're calling it. That that lineup doesn't even use Veerman, which suggests maybe maybe I should be looking at All Star Super Rare first for those two. Let's have a look. That is. Kook. Hmm. I think Kook lets that line up down slightly. Uh, hmm. 
do I want to smash All-Star Super Rare? I mean, the kook fixture like lightens the mood a little bit there, doesn't it? Let's have a look, a look at All-Star Rare Plus. I mean, we could go heavy in Rare Plus and Challenger with Veerman and Boschnevix. We've still got good options in in Challenger forwards. Did we, did we have a good option in Challenger forward now? Let's have a little look. Challenger Europe Rare Plus. Oh, that's a great option. That's a really strong lineup. Um, Matt Ryan's probably a better pick here. Let's have a look at the forward options. Yeah, it has to be him. Um, yeah, I mean, if I'm going for it, that isn't a bad lineup. But there is a still a few potential weak fixtures. Like the weak link here is probably Tom High against Ajax. Although even in a bad game, he can put a 60 up. Do I have any good rare options left? Of Spartax, a tough fixture. I've got so many challenger super rares, as you can see. Weefa might be a better option than Tom High. It's a good fixture, isn't it? Fifty-eight percent chance of three goals scored. Uh, as much as Weefit is a defensive mid, he does get among decisive. So, looking at his uh, three goal score percentage and a low percentage of scoring uh, of conceding many goals, that's a big pick, isn't it? Fair and in good form. He's going to start, isn't he? I'd probably side with him over Tom High with his fixture. He's got. That looks pretty strong to me. Do we go with that and then All-Star? We use the... Actually, I'll tell you what. There's not many fixtures in Asia this weekend, is there? How many cards are there? 16. Super rare. Don't have a Super Air Asia goalkeeper. But then who does... 10 super rare cards. Only 36 entries so far. Am I being silly? That looks... How many fixtures have we got? Let's have a little look at the matches in there. Matches. See, there's not many players covered. There's a lot of players covered, but there's not many minted in the Chinese Super Leagues. We've got those. And then we've got... Al-Itihad, Mumbai, Al-Halal. There are quite a few players in there, actually, to be fair. Not too many goalkeepers. Maybe, I mean, and the rewards on... Let's have a little look at the prize pool as well, like... Best case, you're going to win a tier one. Ito is a good player, but what's he worth? Yeah, I mean, you're not going to win anything of great value. So I think I'm going to... But then if I don't use Veerman in... Oh, that's all right, a rare pro. I can still use Minwoo and... Felipe. 
What do you guys reckon? Let's have a little look at the historical, how that would do. Tier one there. Well, big scores needed in a uh, Challenger Rare Plus. Hmm. Let's do this All Star. Let's do. Let's get this All Star Rare Plus sorted, and then see what's left for Challenger. If we end up using any of these ones, I think Rare Plus. Let's get this lineup sorted. Suggest one. I think. Who is our best goalkeeper option? I mean, Donnarumma with 11.5% bonus, though, at home to Montpellier. What is Montpellier's recent form saying? Big result last week. Goals scored, 15. PSG have been... Oh, they're a bit leaky at the back, aren't they? But Donnarumma is capable. That's how many five. That's England. Three one. Because I don't really play champ heavy, I think I it makes sense for me to use Donnarumma here as well. I've got too many champ goalies and I don't really play it so I've got to really use them in these that looks that looks amazing though doesn't it let's be honest do you captain Grimaldo or Mbappe in this fixture I think you've got a captain Mbappe really haven't you what do you think guys who are you captaining tough game for Besiktas yeah I think Mbappe at home, PSG. A 32 and a half. If he hits 100, that's 132 and a half off the bat. I think we've got to go with that. Let's have a look at the uh, historical. Oh, they had no game. This is going to be tough because very rare they all hit fixtures. 400 and. That's the only thing. The score that you need in All-Star Rare Plus is so high these days. But if they all hit... Just really relying on that, um, that Chinese fixture, aren't we? But if I don't use them here, I have to use them in Super Rare. Where am I going to get the bang? I think if you're going to enter also a rare plus, you got. Let's just do this. This is that's a good lineup. I know that's a good lineup, whether or not it shows historicals a bit. You can't always go off the historical either because it's all down to fixtures. Like if those two had a game and they smashed it, that team would have been pretty decent. Apart from seeing Mbappe that week. All right, cool. Another lineup locked in. So let's go back to. I mean, we might even have a challenger super rare team there that might be a bit better than. Actually, we need to go into all star if we're going to. Got one goalkeeper option left. All star. Boschnivix is the only weak link there for me. Mello is probably a better pick. 
GNA. Talarez, how are they getting on the plate? Been good of late. 78.7 all around. Uh, is he at home? Home fixture. Let's see how they go on at home. Pretty good, right? Not fantastic though, to be fair, of late. He's a strong option. Definitely stronger than Boschnevics this week. But they're going with Mello. Let's have a look at these opposition scores. They're saying, oh, good yellow card. Wait, hold on. He's out. Let's have a quick look at Play Sharper. This might be a yellow card uh, suspension that's been missed by Soredega. Yeah, he's a suspended card. This is why you have to look, right? throws a spanner in the works a little bit um, so we don't want to use Gianetti Serge Philippe Royal Kevili twelve goals scored Road Des don't keep many clean sheets. Um, Sepp Vandenberg ain't gonna do nothing. Kosanu. Hey, Jeremy Mello can score well. Good form at the minute. Valadolid, how are they getting on? Oh, La Liga 2. Protected 52. Expected score. We need more than that, really, don't we? I'd love to see what his expected scores were on these fixtures, though. And he's not keeping a clean sheet there. He's still got a big all around. And, you know, he doesn't need a clean sheet, does he? weaken my challenger super, uh, rare pro option a little bit but I think all star super rare is the one but then I'm really if I'm if I'm putting Veerman in there am I really getting he's got 100 in him hasn't he this weekend hmm does anyone else take this long to do this, by the way, in the chat? I'd like, I'm literally here <laughs> doing this. We've got about five lineups down and we've been live for an hour and 20 minutes. Do you know what I mean? It's, it is wild how much time this shit takes, but you got to do it. you got to put it in if you want to win. Okay. 
if we aren't going there, the next we have to put VM in, in a strong all star uh, challenger pro lineup. We're not going to go challenger super rare. No, where are we? Nah, Celtic are playing this weekend. Too much competition. Let's go all star with that. And let's just hope we land in the cash. Let's do that. I feel better about that. That's a nice lineup. A lot of potential decisives there. If they all hit, then we're landing. All right, next up, we got uh, U23 Rare Pro. Champ Europe Rare. Let's have a look at that. Test Degen. Some good options here. Alaves at home. Clean sheet percentage is good. You're always going to side with a Ter Stegen in a goal, right? You don't play champ without playing him in there. Um, Di Lorenzo, 100%. Tony Kroos, I think, should start this game. Let's see what our Spanish experts have him down as. Let's have a look. 70% here. Yeah, that looks about right for me because Champions League's come in. Too many injured. Yeah. I think Cruz is the one here. Tony Cruz is a massive scorer on a bad day. So, what are our forward options? This is where it gets tricky. Moreno. Oh, Moreno's got a good fixture. He's on good form at the moment. Um, Villa, who are they playing? Forest. Turkey's not likely to start. Castellanos. Sesco's not going to start. Moreno. And then probably Anderson here. Burnley. Or Pavard, actually. Or the K bar. I think I'd go with Anderson. Let's see who they would put in. Gvardiol. See, we've already had this with him. Pavard next, yeah? I worry about Pavard's rotation. That's the only issue I've got with him. 10.5% Tomori um, at home. Palace. Haven't been at their best, have they? But Eze is expected back this week, which changes a lot for them. Um, 6% Anderson versus home fixture Tomori, 10.5%. And then I'll probably Captain Cruz just because he's the guy. And that looks okay, but in champ, you just have to score so high. Like, am I better off just putting that in all-star? I think let's have a look at All-Star first. Champ Euro 71. All-Star Rare. Let's see what we got there. Oh, Kulibai. That'd be good, good to use him, wouldn't it? Because I'm not getting any utility in him elsewhere. And he's got his pick scores too high to use him in cap modes. Uh, I don't play second division anymore because I sold my goalkeeper. So Barini makes sense to use in this division. 12% bonus. Tommy High is the only potential issue here, I think. This is where I probably would put Cruz. Or maybe Kaibue, actually. Hmm, 
He hasn't been firing on all cylinders of late. In fact, has he got... Surely he's got a suspension coming up. Oh no, he's just done one. I think I would probably put Cruz in there. That's stronger to me. And then captain. I'd probably put Cruz as the captain as well, to be honest. Let's change up the music. Um, there's Captain Cruz. I like that. I think that's the one. And then, because I'm not really looking to play champ so much, maybe we swap by is it, by is it, by is it for... Actually, no, because we've still got Matt Ryan, haven't we? We've got a few challenger options, haven't we? Do we still want to go there? a better pick than Bay is it if you're going strong I reckon that's probably the one let's go there right so in terms of rares where are we at we've done all our super rare teams so any rare pros challenger let's have a look because I've got an Asia goalkeeper haven't I? do I have enough players forward is where we're going to come unstuck there isn't it yeah so our only option Palacios no we can't enter Asia so goalkeeper's got to be used in one of the cap modes maybe 240 cap Have a, I just need to revisit that challenger super uh, challenger rare plus. Pretty strong. Hassan Yusuf makes a bit more sense than Tom High in this situation, maybe. Corner Duaf is a rotation risk for whatever given reason. Niyaz Mitch. quite a few options in midfield of late Yusuf what's his fixture though Genk it's quite tough hmm what are you guys doing in this situation Bened Lugano playing in the week yeah let's go Bened and then Too many super rare options here, don't we? Hormans, tough fixture. I think you're going to go with Tom High because even in a bad week, he's going to get 50 plus, 55. That's a good, good lineup. Let's go with that rare plus there. And now we can go back to that 240. It's just because I saw proper in it. I thought actually. 
don't want to use Gvardiol because I think he is overrated this week. Lekeba. I don't want Dominguez. Do I? Do I want Dominguez? Kenneth Taylor, 41. That makes sense. Let's put Taylor in here in the midfield and then see what we got. Especially because we've done our Challenger and U23 lineup, so anyone from that pool of players really useful in this because I don't need them anywhere else. I've actually got the makings of an America lineup there. Maybe I should consider that too. Maybe I should have a little look at America and see how strong it lines that up in rare. Champ America rare. Midfield is the weak link here, isn't it? Houston Dynamo, Salt Lake. I mean, that's a stronger pick than that. Why have they put him in there? Um, Johnny Russell. I'm going to have a look. So 74. Let's have a look at Rare Plus. I don't normally really enter the America. Yeah, rare is going to be the one if I go in there. 74. Let's end the chant America rare because there's some good fixtures there. I like that. That's it. Do we use two forwards here? I'm not sure about Robson. He's not a bad pick. I only picked him up in the week for like to fill a gap, but actually. That is a pretty decent fixture actually. Um Lucero, Flamengo. Johnny Russell sub in the last game is a bit annoying. Maybe I go. Maybe I go Lucero. Actually, let's have a little look at how so our play sharp I've got him. Seventy per cent. Any comments? Expecting to be back. That looks alright. Do I have a better option than Romo at home? I mean, he's a pretty good keeper pick at the moment. Romo, Vargas, Talavera. Talavera is great for cap mode though, because he's like 33. Um, so that's I'm definitely going to be using him in cap. Okay, I like this team. I'm going to lock that one in. Decent. I have an actual go of Champ America this week. Um, so that means... We can get back to our cat modes. We're not going to play Asia rare, so we need to use an Asia goalkeeper in one of these cat modes. We're definitely going to use Talavera in there, won't we? Um, all right, let's just generate a cat mode lineup. Talavera, Pavard, Naboa. Let's take Gavardio out of the mix this week. That looks nice. Forward is a little bit of a poor pick. That is my only issue with this at the moment. We've got 45 points to play with and we need some quality. Somebody might score. Calimuendo. Hmm. 
Alberto or Vigo do have the better fixture. Sevilla. Does Sevilla play in the week Champions League as well, don't they? Pretty sure. So they might not be quite as competitive. Am I right in thinking that? Yeah. They play Champions League in the week, so they might have to rest or rotate a bit. So that fixture might not be as bad. It might actually be better than it looks. Pavard. I think that my champ Euro entry is going to be a little bit weak by comparison to the rest. So um, let's have a look and see if there's any other. Gvardiol. Hmm, Pavard. Maybe Naboa is the weak link here and we could downgrade a little bit score-wise elsewhere. I think T Taylor is probably a better pick than Naboa this week. And that frees a bit more. Yeah, look at that. Let's put Taylor in there. And then... We've got five to play with. Can we upgrade here? Lyle Foster, Lucero, Palacios, Sesco. Some good players, but just are they going to start is the big if. Hosselu might start this weekend. I like that pick. I'm not sure about Pavard. I feel like he could be rotated this week. Does anyone else think Pavard might not start? Do I reckon Russell will be there next season? I'm not sure, you know. I'm not sure. Probably. I don't, you know, he's of that age now where he's not going to be chopped and changed around too much. Right, what were we looking for again? We were trying to figure out if Pavard is fancied this weekend. They've got a few options there. He is playing really well. 70%. See if there's any notes. Mm. Into update. Important cup game on midweek. Light rotations possible. Turam and Lotaro will be nailed in. Yeah, I mean, I fancy there's a chance Pavard doesn't start this game. So I might not risk him this week. Maybe we take him out. Let's put Tamori in that place and then we can sort of just figure out someone else. Where is Tamori there? Sixty-two to play with. I mean, even if Guardiola doesn't have the best game, he should still be able to score well. Hormans, he's on good form. He's going to start. RZ have a uh, Champions League in the week, so rotation there. Home fixture. He could be a shout, really. Hormans. We've already done our challenger lineup, so we're going to use him. That is an absolute hell hole of a f score for him, though, isn't it? Look at that last week. Um, do you know what? Look at that. Last the week before that was not very good either, was it? That was a home as well. Um, all right, I'm not using Hormans. Maybe I do go with Guardiola here. Mendy. Not an awful fixture for him. Let's just put Gvardiol in. Do we fancy Gvardiol to play in the week? Oh, what's this? Do we have an offer? 
This could uh, throw a spanner in the works. Ivan Liubic. He's a little bit more useful at the moment than he used to be. That feels like such a small amount of money, doesn't it, for a super? That's just where we're at at the moment. He's not... £60. Might just go back and see if I can get, like, 65 for him or something. Try it. see it feels crazy selling super rares that are actually starting for this sort of money but I do have a lot of options in that department and it's nice oh, he's going on oh, I can't do it I'll do it after do it later um, uh, is that good enough they do fancy Cavadio a bit more than I think they need to cheers Ian big up mate in a minute my mate coming around to use it um can't say that he's probably going to be in here doing his teams as well but oh, i i mean that looks a good lineup doesn't it so long as Cavardiol starts Champ, Champ Europe, maybe Rare Plus, see if it suggests anything. I don't think we can go Plus. It might be a Rare normal rare and then yeah like a hit and hope because we've got goalkeepers we should just put something in um severa i don't think i think it makes more sense to put ter stegen in there to be honest musiala pavard Anderson in there and move Pavard out for a sec and then Musiala's alright I know it's a tough fixture but he's always got an opportunity to score hasn't he and then maybe in the extra slot let's go have a look at the L5s Le Caba. I think it makes sense there with that 11% and then yeah I'll probably captain Anderson. That looks alright to me. Oh, we're getting there. We're almost there. What do we do next? Let's have a look where we are now. We're getting into the business end now. The limiteds normally take me five minutes. I don't. Rare plus U23. Van der Voort at home to Antwerp. Tough fixture, but I don't have many options here, do I? These are all tough fixtures. Calimundo. Turkey. I mean, I wish I could use Turkey. 
Do we really think he's going to sit on the bench? If Cherk isn't... I mean, we could be a bit more risky with this pick because it isn't so high up our uh, priorities. If you use like a super rare Cherky here... Why is Cherky so low in the picks? They really don't fancy him to start. Is he out? Wow. 30%. He doesn't fit in Grosso's strategy, and Grosso is suspicious that Cherky and his family leaks information at the press. Wow. So we are not going to be using Cherky at all then. Ferran Torres. Noosa. Fabio Blanco was a card that I wildly overpaid for, thinking his supply would be stopped and he'd actually stop. I can't believe that he's not getting the game time, but here we are. Zarori. It's not been much use this season. That's probably the best we can do in terms of what we've got available, but I maybe would ch change these around. He scored well last week. I'd maybe change him for Kosanu. And then Martel, I'd probably change for um, Yusuf. But then I've got Yusuf against Vandervoort in the same lineup. That doesn't really matter. Yusuf's more of an AA player. Unless we think Gorna Duath is going to start. Didn't play at all in the last game. Would Gorna likely play? Why is he. Uh, what's the deal there? We've already looked at this lineup, but. Let's change the music, it's pretty intense. Um, maybe Gorna, if he's going to play, let's have a quick look. Maybe they're going to save Gorna for the Champions League. Gorna didn't play in the cup game either. Sleep there almost in a trance. I mean, Martel's fixture is not awful, is it? Augsburg at home after they got whacked last week. It's kind of a throwaway team at this point, isn't it? I mean, 67 rating. Let's just stick it in there. U23 rare plus. Um, where are we left with um, Asia rare and rare plus? Where's our cap modes? Cap 270. May as well chuck a rare in there. We've got good goalkeeper options that I can't really use anywhere else. Jo Hyun Wu. Probably the shout here. We've still got 
a numerical lineup we can make. We've still got champ lineups we can make. Um, Hyun Wu, we know we don't have any Asia options up top, so. Cap 270. Silinov, no. Mendy. Maybe Mendy. Eduardo, he's not going to start that game. Anyone who follows uh, F. Marinos knows they won't use him in the Champions League because of the foreigner rule. He's very rarely used there. Lewandowski is back. Ferran might be on the bench. Uh, Cherky wasn't even in the squad, S. Marshall. Thank you for that. Yeah, I'm just going to have to... He's just going to sit tight in the gallery, I think, until... Which, you know, if it is, it is that bad, he'll probably be moved on in in um, December, January. Um, right, Philip Royale is definitely better than this fixture makes him out to be. So I think maybe him here. And then in midfield. Maybe Dominguez here. Or Kaibue. I don't play second division, so 7%. Tanaka. He's been on good form, actually, hasn't he? Dusseldorf, three goals scored. AA is not absolutely fantastic, but... I'll maybe go with Kaibue here. Is he away? Does that matter for him? Mm. Uh, and Naboa could score well, still. the rest of the team forward not got too many left that are likely to start Anthony will start probably I'm going to that game so that might make things a bit interesting Fulham Man United Callum Wendo Lucero Torres I think we're running out of options here now aren't we uh, maybe we go Maybe Callum Window here. Extra 70 to play with. We're running out of the good, good players now, though. So maybe we use Pavard. Maybe I'll just use Kaibue, because I'm not going to use him anywhere else. And... I mean, who do you captain here? Maybe Royale? Not doing particularly great in those Cap 270 modes. I don't know about anyone else. So it's, it's a bit of a nothing entry. But making use of cards, that won't go elsewhere. Cap 220 rare... Let's have a look at this America Rare Plus as an option, actually. Because I know I've got a goalkeeper here, haven't I? Vargas. Um, we know G and is out. Look at this. This is where we get un come unstuck, isn't it? Goodoy got sent off. Fugit's injured still. He's out for a couple more weeks. It's a good... Oh, okay. I mean, this is pointless, isn't it? In that case, we can use him in like cap. Maybe 220 super. That probably make more sense because I've got better options. Let's see what they suggest.
Severa. Interesting. We've got a champ run out, haven't we, as well though, so maybe we use... Oh no, we've got trapped there as well. They got whacked, didn't they? They didn't have a great game. Vargas. Let's put him in there. Or do we just put Severa in? Are we actually... This is more likely to do something than the champ team. Let's keep it like that. Goof is not a bad fixture. Romney, if he starts, isn't a bad shout. Let's see what we've got. Up top options wise though. Palacios, even off the bench, is probably a better shout than Romeni at the moment. Drew injured. Colidio off the bench isn't a bad shout. I mean, is he likely to start? He's picked how long did he play that game? 32 minutes. Not a lot of AA. Malero. Potential. He's got the potential to start. Tough game though against Madrid. And then everyone else is off the bench. I reckon I'd rather go with Palacios here. Even, I mean, who's, have they got Romney? Let's see if they predict Romney to start. No. It, am I in the right team, even? Am I getting mixed up with Utrecht? Oh, wait, no, Romney. Injured. Okay, that was the shout then. Romani. Yeah, let's go with that. 36, is there a better option on the 36 than him? Lonvike, maybe. Malero. Jasic. Oh, Yusuf is definitely going to be a better shout there. In fact, Jasic might be as well. So we've got 46 to play with here. It needs to be a super. You just fill them. Still quite a lot of cards to look at here, isn't there? So it's... Moses, Koku, Fernandez. I mean, he's due a goal, isn't he? He's not been playing particularly well. Is he coming off the bench, though? Yeah. Cervantes, Di Tacchio isn't too bad. Um, let's get the odds up. Um, Nat Phillips isn't going to start. Fernandez is probably going to be the best shout, isn't he? Unless we go. Oh, Vanek. Oh, no, he's too, too expensive. 
Jasic. Or do I take a risk and put Long Wyke in? I wonder if there is a... Is there anyone doing the Swiss League? Probably not. No. No. Um, so it is a punt then. But my punt is that Long Wyke would score better if he plays. Even if he comes on for a half. I'm just going to... This is a 2.20 team, right? I think the captain's going to have to be... If we're waiting for him to come off the bench, which we are, we need him to score anyway, so may as well captain him. There's no halfway about it. Let's go like that. We're getting right to the business end now. Two hours till the deadline. I've been streaming for a few days, it feels. Is it two hours in now? You can see how long this takes. Um, a lot of deliberation. So, cap 220 rare is still an option. Or should we go into that champ? I'll just put a little champ punt in. Let's do a champ punt. This is going to be... Like Roberto makes sense. Pavard, Dominguez, I think we might have a super rare option that will just boost us a bit. Um, a Koku. Is Juan Luis Sanchez, does he have any chance of starting given that they have Champions League in the week? They got it. Navas, 80% to start. Okay. They're pretty, they seem pretty nailed on there, don't they? Let's have a look at what they've got him at on our seventy percent. Okay, Carvalho, Mia, Akoku. Forwards. Do we have a forward card? Apart from obviously Cherky would have been better. Valero. I think maybe we go a Coco. This is not. I don't think like he's likely to start though. Sod it. It's a punt, isn't it? We need all of the big scores. Uh, yeah, I think that is about as good a punt as we're going to have. So let's leave that. As you can see, these ratings get lower and lower as you get later into the process. Um, so we've got 220, America Rare Plus, Asia Rare. Can't play kickoff, can't play second division, so it's going to be 220. Let's just suggest one at this point. Um, okay. That doesn't look awful. I don't know a lot about this guy. I won him in the week. A lazy Azevedo Oyen flip Salamakas. A 
let's just leave that. Let's just leave that. That's fine. Um, okay, limited. First things first. Cap 240. Straight in. That looks incredible. <laughs> if that doesn't earn me a fiver, uh, then nothing will. That is crazy good lineup. That is definitely earning me a fiver. And next we'll do 270 because doing okay in that. So let's keep that going. That looks very useful as well. I'm sure. I think there might be a... That Xavi Simons is going to be a better play there, maybe. Or shall I enter him into a U23? Let's use Talavera to free up some got another one that I can use. Picked a couple of those up. And then we can turn Tom High into Florentine. And then we can turn I mean that's pretty solid. Let's just have a look at the Mentoma situation. Yeah, it's got to be Matoma there. Bastoni. I mean, I like this team. May as well just leave it like that. And then maybe we'll enter a U23. Actually, we don't have a U23 goalkeeper, do we? So maybe do I go Javi Simons instead there? Yeah. Simons. Can we upgrade the goalkeeper then? Oh, we're a point off there. Not that. I'm not going to keep a clean sheet. Oh, can we salvage a point somewhere else on this lineup? Maybe Velasquez is a little bit overpriced here. Oh, look, Rodrigo will be great. Stick him in there. And then captain, we're going to have... I think Simons. Like that. That's a decent side. Um, so, 240, 270, let's do All-Star Limited. Philip Cohn, I think we're going to spot for Matt Ryan. I just touched you, didn't I? Um, right. Velazquez, high. Florentine, Kramer. I like that. That looks good. And then everyone else is rotation fodder, so they will just go into training teams, probably. Don't really bother with too many of the regions. Unless I've got... I mean, I've got Furch there who could play. I'm lacking forwards. Um... Didn't he play in the last game against those? No. Okay. I think I'll leave it there. I think that's all my team's done. Let's have a little look. Just over two hours. Uh, big teams this weekend are obviously uh, Challenger Rare, All-Star Rare Plus looking strong. Uh, the Cap 240 Super looking good. All-Star Super looking really good. I think my three Super Rare teams looking great. Rare Plus looking good. Under 23 rare, definitely looking good. So long as Sukic starts. Um, Challenger rare. All-star rare looking strong. And yeah, like some good rating teams. I think, you know, 240 should win a fiver. Uh, the only other thing I might do is, just for the sake of it, putting a zero... Rated goalkeeper in 270 cap on 
super rare just to have an entry and let's just put in like El Ratsy, okay who have we got here? Some, let's try and put someone who's going to at least be on the bench maybe Mirko Koz on the off chance he gets called up you know we've got some good options here still so let's go with Royale Amir Fernandez maybe Ditacchio let's put Fernandez oh, do I want to put Fernandez? let's put Yasic in because he is potentially decent Romani's injured so we are probably going to be going with like Malero or Colidio. Let's go with Colidio. We've got an easy fixture. Maybe they rotate him in to give him some game time. And then Strauss, Fernandez. We're going to need goals, aren't we? So let's just put Fernandez in and hope that he can hit something. Um, captain's going to be Royale. Let's just hope that that 270 does something. Probably won't, but... Yeah, you've got to be in it to win it. I think that is about it. We got anything else we can just chuck in? America Rare Plus, Asia Rare, Asia Rare Plus, maybe. I'm sure we did. We use the goalkeeper in the end. I just suggest it. No. All right, well, I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's about it. Decent. Decent. Feeling good about that. And I've got my, uh, like, legend cards. Maybe I never really enter legend. I just bang them in uh, training and hope that I can score something with them. So, yeah, I won't do a legends lineup. But gang, that has been a marathon, hasn't it? Wow. Two hours and ten minutes, if you're still here. Thank you for joining me. And uh, if you were kind of joining, wondering what the hell Sore was, then, uh, yeah, I'll just, I'm just going to fire a little link in there now. You can sign up and get a, get a free card. Or it doesn't work like that anymore, does it? You get, a, like, a bonus of credit to your account that you can then use to sort yourself out a few bits um but yeah gang good luck in the game week as you see two hours 15 minutes um we got it done so now the boring bit of like going into the so rare and adding all of those teams in uh, one by one which could take me another hour on its own so Without further ado, I'm going to sign out. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Out to everyone who's just newly uh, subscribed, followed, all of that. Um, yeah, good luck in the game week, gang. Catch you in a bit.